When I think about the relationship between stress and compulsive overconsumption, what vividly comes to mind always first for me is this amazing experiment in which uh, rodents, rats, and mice were trained to know that if they pressed a lever, they would get a release of, uh, you know, intravenous cocaine, for example, or methamphetamine would be delivered to their system. And we know that uh, rats, once they discover that, you know, especially in a cell where there's not much else to do, um, they will essentially pre press that lever until exhaustion or until they die. But if that lever ceases to emit cocaine, so essentially the cocaine is no more, no longer forthcoming, that behavior will ultimately extinguish. Another way of saying they'll stop pressing the lever and they'll go do something else. But if then you expose that organism to a very painful foot shock, which is one of the ways that neuroscientists simulate extreme stress, the first thing the animal will do is run over and start pressing the lever for cocaine. So I think that's just a, a very nice paradigm to draw this immediate connection between stress and dopamine or addictive behaviors, which is to say once we as organisms have learned that there's this thing that I can do that will change the way I feel, even if you know, in the long term it's maladaptive, um, which addiction is by definition maladaptive, then even once I've stopped doing that behavior, I've extinguished that behavior, I've gone on to something else. In the context of an extreme stressor, I reflexively resort to or am vulnerable to resorting to uh, reinstigating or reinitiating that, that maladaptive behavior again. I